So, I wanted to talk today about a meditation practice that I have been developing for myself. And, um, I know making a meditation video is weird because what I'm going to talk about is a very personal thing, the sort of feedback loop that I have developed between a more abstract I, I, holistically, and the I that is represented by all of my particular body parts and neurons, which are idiosyncratic to me and may not respond to the world in the same way that your body and neurons respond to the world. There might just be some innate biases that make this practice particularly effective for me and not for you. And it's difficult to tell if that bias is in the physical or the mental because that's a false distinction. But anyway, I have been developing this meditation practice for myself and I believe I understand it well enough now to begin to talk about it or at least to begin to name it. And what I've named it is turning up the contrast, um, because that's kind of what it feels like, you know, clearly I've spent a lot of time working in Adobe Photoshop that I can make a metaphor about image editing to meditation, which may not make any sense to people who haven't spent some time in Adobe Photoshop turning up the contrast of their images. But what happens when you turn up the contrast of an image is everything gets starker. So the blacks become blacker and the whites become whiter. So the image gets polarized in a way and what it means is that the distinctions between things become more apparent. Um, which is a funny thing to say because I think often the goal of meditation is, is exactly the opposite. The goal is to have the dic this, the goal is to have the distinctions between things become less apparent. Um, but I think there's there's some aspect of unification of opposites here that when you really start to pay attention to edges, start to pay attention to where, for example, that orchid plant in front of me stops and where the air begins. When you pay attention to those edges, you sort of start to notice that there's there's a whole universe in between the edges, or that what the universe actually is is the the connection points between all of those distinctions. That the edge the edge forms a kind of boundary that the pleroma might seep through for you to experience. There's another jargony word, pleroma. I'll make a video about the pleroma one day. Um, if you're curious, you can look in Carl Jung's Red Book or read a paper about it by Gregory Bateson. I've been reading those things. Anyway. Turning up the contrast is a meditation practice where I sit very still and I keep my eyes open and I stare at some particular bit of the world. Often that bit has some very strong geometry. So right now I'm looking at my webcam and you know it's kind of like this portal and it's a really strong rectangle with curves within it and curves within the curves and curves within those curves and a circle within those curves and a rectangle within the circle and, and then within that rectangle there's a smaller circle this tiny little dot which is the lens and just focusing on that lens and the geometry radiating out radiating out from it and recognizing that you are in the center of that lens <laughs> that's an eerie thought I don't know who you are this might be years from now but you are watching this in there. And 
So I turn up the contrast. I pay very close attention to the geometry and the edges where one form stops and another form begins and try to see through them. Try to be more present in them. Recognize that this is the world with all of its features. So I don't really know how to describe it. As I said in the beginning, it's a particular physical state that I feel in my body and a sensation of, of something beyond being here. That's what it gives me. It gives me the sensation that there's this very, very distant beyond thing, infinite thing that is here, present in the edges of the object that I am looking at. And it's a very physical sensation. It's not a thought. I feel it. And I don't know how to make you feel of that sensation. It might be a sensation that only me and my particular body can feel. You can probably feel something similar, though, for the particular you in your particular body. And these words are an attempt to duplicate that sensation in me, duplicate the sensation that I am feeling right now of the beyond being imminent. These words are an attempt to duplicate that sensation in you. But they can't do that. You can only point at what it might resemble, because they're words. So I'm going to stop talking now. And I'm going to continue to focus on the contrast of reality. Turn up the contrast. And we're going to sit like this for, let's say, 10 minutes. So we're at 7 minutes and... 20 seconds now, just about. So we'll do this until 17 minutes and 20 seconds.
card means one. 